Albert Einstein once remarked that no matter how powerful our telescopes become, the very birth of the universe would forever remain hidden from our eyes. Yet the Webb telescope has stunned scientists with an observation so strange and silent that it feels as if we're staring into the universe's first heartbeat. Instead of brilliant stars or swirling galaxies, it revealed a vast, unsettling emptiness. An absence so profound that it forces us to wonder whether we are witnessing the universe's earliest whisper of existence. This discovery may reshape our understanding of who we are and where everything began. It also echoes Einstein's intuition. How could we hope to witness an event that produced no light at all? The beginning wasn't merely dark. It was an overwhelming surge of creation far beyond anything our minds can comfortably grasp. According to modern cosmology, everything emerged from an unimaginably tiny point about 13.8 billion years ago, a perfectly balanced singularity disrupted by an almost imperceptible imbalance. From that fragile moment, the cosmos unfolded into what we now see around us. Surprisingly, echoes of that original point may still linger inside black holes scattered across the universe. Inside those black holes, gravity becomes so intense that our instruments fail, as if the laws of physics themselves hesitate at the threshold. Now, with its unprecedented sensitivity, the Webb telescope has captured the image of a black hole surrounded by a silent void from the universe's infancy, possibly predating even the first starlight. Imagine that newborn cosmos, a blistering ocean of particles and radiation racing outward faster than we can truly comprehend. In those early moments, light as we know it simply couldn't exist. Photons were constantly trapped, colliding with swarms of free protons and electrons, unable to travel more than a breath before being scattered again. Only after the universe cooled for roughly 380,000 years could the first neutral atoms, mostly hydrogen and helium, form. As temperatures continued to fall, photons finally slipped free, creating the faint cosmic microwave background we detect today. But even then, darkness dominated the universe. No stars, no galaxies, only silence and cooling gas drifting through the void. It wasn't until several hundred million years later that the cosmic night began to break. The first stars ignited, brilliant, unstable, fiercely hot, and their ultraviolet light tore apart the surrounding hydrogen, kicking off the era of reionization and illuminating space for the very first time. This reionization tore hydrogen atoms apart, freeing their protons and electrons, and slowly allowing ultraviolet and visible light to slip through the cosmic haze. Gravity then stepped in like an unseen sculptor, pulling together immense clouds of hydrogen and helium. As these clouds tightened, pressure and heat climbed until the first stars burst into existence, igniting nuclear fusion in their hearts and casting light across the universe for the very first time. Their glow didn't just brighten the void, it helped clear it. The intense radiation pouring from these young stars and forming galaxies ripped through the thick curtain of neutral hydrogen that had enveloped everything since the beginning. Over countless ages, this gradual cleansing transformed the intergalactic space into a mostly ionized expanse, marking the end of the long cosmic night and the true dawn of the universe we inhabit today. Even with our most advanced instruments, we can only peer back to the moment when the universe became transparent enough for light to travel unhindered. For decades, scientists believed this occurred roughly 380,000 years after the Big Bang. The Webb Telescope, our most sophisticated cosmic time machine, was built to push beyond these boundaries and expose the secrets hidden at the universe's earliest moments. Armed with 16 golden honeycomb mirrors and state-of-the-art infrared vision, Webb captures ancient light that has journeyed across 13.5 billion years of space and time. It has already revealed galaxies forged in the universe's youth, but now it has offered something even more astonishing, the detection of a black hole that existed only about 500 million years after creation itself. This discovery disrupts long-held theories about what could have formed so early. Though not the largest by today's standards, this black hole is extraordinarily old and unbelievably heavy, 
roughly 10 million times the mass of our Sun. Despite appearing as regions of haunting emptiness, black holes behave like cosmic traps, pulling matter inward with a gravitational force that feels almost supernatural. How can something that looks like nothing weigh so much? Scientists suspect they build their mass by devouring nearby material, or perhaps by interacting with elusive dark matter. Dark matter, like black holes, can't be seen, but the warping of space-time around it betrays its presence. And this particular black hole holds yet another mystery. It's growing at a pace that defies explanation, expanding far faster than our current models allow. If we applied modern growth rates to it, then, by all logic, it would have to be older than the universe, an idea that seems absurd, yet difficult to fully dismiss. Some theories even hint at fragments of a previous cosmos leaving behind clues in ours. It's also entirely possible that the earliest black holes behaved unlike anything we've been able to study nearby. The truth, for now, hovers just beyond our reach, another cosmic puzzle waiting for its moment in the light. The web's breathtaking stream of discoveries has rattled long-standing assumptions and revealed cracks in our current cosmic models. Colossal black holes swelling at impossible speeds, appearing in galaxies that seem older than the universe itself, are overturning the foundations of traditional Big Bang theories. Researchers now face an intimidating but exhilarating crossroads, one that may force us to rethink the entire architecture of our cosmological understanding. Fresh ideas are taking shape, while earlier ones are being dusted off and re-examined. One such concept, the theory of variable physical constants, proposes that the rules governing the newborn universe were not the same as those we observe today. Essential constants, such as the strength of gravity or the fine structure constant, could have held dramatically different values in those first moments. If true, such shifts might explain the astonishing pace of black hole growth and the rapid rise of early galaxies. Another promising avenue is the pursuit of quantum gravity, an attempt to bridge Einstein's sweeping vision of space-time with the strange, delicate world described by quantum mechanics. Relativity handles the grand scale, the motion of planets, the pull of gravity, while quantum physics rules over the subatomic realm. Near the moment of creation, when everything was unimaginably compact and hot, it is likely that quantum gravitational laws dictated how the universe behaved. Yet the Big Bang model, as originally built, leaned almost entirely on Einstein's large-scale physics. This mismatch between theories may have baked errors into our earliest calculations, with Webb's observations now shining a spotlight on those inconsistencies. In essence, scientists are staring down a cosmic riddle unlike any they've faced before. The Big Bang concept itself dates back to the 1920s, when Belgian priest and astronomer Georges Lemaitre proposed that everything emerged from a single, compressed, primordial atom. His idea gained tremendous support when Edwin Hubble later discovered that distant galaxies were racing away from us, their speed increasing with distance, clear evidence of expansion. Over the decades, refinements and new interpretations layered onto this framework, creating the cosmological picture we've accepted for nearly a century. But now, unexpected discoveries refuse to fit into these carefully constructed patterns. Even the timeline for the universe's first black holes remains uncertain, with several competing explanations. One widely discussed idea points to Population 3 stars, massive, short-lived giants that formed a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. When they died in spectacular supernova blasts, they may have left behind the universe's earliest black holes. Yet another bold possibility suggests something even more astonishing. Black holes forming before the first stars ever flickered, born directly from the extreme conditions of the young cosmos itself. The mystery remains open, and with every new glimpse from the web, the universe grows both stranger and more mesmerizing. In rare and extreme conditions, swirling clouds of cosmic dust, destined to become stars, could instead collapse straight into black holes. If that happened, then some black holes would have formed long before the universe's first stars ever lit the darkness. Adding to this mystery, astronomers have detected supermassive black holes from the universe's infancy, 
their masses soaring into the millions or even billions of suns. How such giants grew so immense in such a brief cosmic moment remains one of science's greatest challenges. One idea suggests they might have arisen from the steady merging of smaller black holes, feeding on surrounding matter and fusing with one another. But this explanation requires a plentiful supply of stars and gas, conditions that may not have existed so early on. With its extraordinary precision, the Webb telescope offers hope of untangling this puzzle. Its deep gaze reaches farther than any instrument before it, exposing the earliest galaxies and brilliant quasars powered by ancient supermassive black holes. Like a window into time itself, Webb captures light that began its journey billions of years ago, revealing scenes from the dawn of creation. Yet with every revelation comes another surprise. Webb's findings have unveiled phenomena no one expected, confronting astronomers with questions that strike at the heart of our understanding. As the telescope continues to peel back the layers of cosmic history, the origin of the first black holes stands out as one of the most haunting riddles of all, inviting scientists ever deeper into the vast, hidden wonders of space and time.